Hi everyone, today we're going to do a safety pin pop tap bracelet. It looks like this, so let's get crafting. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take six safety pins, then we're going to take some beads. I'm going to be using this kind. I'm going to take five of these and put them onto one safety pin. You can go as far as putting six, but I'm only going to be using five. Next, I'm going to take some Mod Podge, and with this, we're going to apply it all over the beads, and this is going to glue them together so they don't roll around on the safety pin. So we're just going to cover all of them with a nice thin layer. It's going to be white, but once they start drying, the white is going to turn clear. Once you're done applying the Mod Podge, you're going to put your safety pin on a non-sticky surface to dry. As you can see, I'm just simply using a section of a plastic bag. You can use Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, or even wax paper. It's going to take your beads roughly around 30 to 40 minutes to fully dry before you can use them on your pop tab bracelet. And what you're going to do is around the 15-20 minute mark, flip them over just so the other side can dry. But in the meantime, while they're drying, start on your pop tab bracelet. So I have four pop tabs. To prepare the knot before adding the safety pin, I'm going to take the first elastic strand, put it through the bottom of the pop tab, take the bottom elastic strand, put it through the top hole of the pop tab. This is creating the X underneath. And then we're going to take both strands and just do a regular knot. If you need a refresher on how to do any of the pop tab bracelet techniques, I have links down below in the information about all the pop tab stuff that I have done to help you along before continuing on. Now to add our safety pin, you're going to have the top portion of the safety pin and then the bottom portion. We're going to take our first strand, top strand of elastic, put it through the safety pin. Then we're going to take our bottom elastic or the second strand of elastic and put it through the bottom loop of the safety pin. Some safety pins have a loop in the top that you can simply string your elastic through, but some of them don't. For my particular safety pins, I do not have that loop in the top. So once my safety pin is aligned, I'm going to simply stretch the top portion of the elastic and then just push the elastic up and catch it on the top portion of the safety pin. That is going to keep my safety pins straight and aligned. Now when we add our second safety pin, we're going to flip it around so the bottom loop is going to be at the top and the front 
is going to be at the bottom. We're going to take our first elastic strand, put it through the bottom loop, take our second elastic strand, put it through the safety pin, and then once it's aligned, stretch the elastic and push it up so it catches on the top of the safety pin. And one more time, we're going to alternate the safety pin, take in our second strand, put it through the bottom loop of the safety pin, top strand to the top portion of the safety pin. Once it's aligned, stretch the elastic, push it up so it catches on the top portion of the safety pin, and continue on until you have six safety pins. Adding the safety pins was the hardest part of the bracelet for me to make. But now it's going to be easy and downhill from here. We're going to create one more knot after we have put on our six safety pins. Safety pins should look like this with knots on each side. Now we're going to take our pop tab, put the top strand of the elastic through the top hole of the pop tab, second strand of elastic through the bottom hole of the pop tab. And then we're going to create that X on the bottom of the pop tab so we're going to take our top string put it towards the bottom take our bottom string pull it up towards the top take our second pop tab rough sides together and then take our bottom string through the top hole of the second pop tab and the first top string through the bottom portions of the pop tab and now you're back on track with creating your regular pop tab bracelet. So just add another pop tab, rough sides together, and continue on with the straight weave until you have the desired length. In the end, you have a sweet looking safety pin pop tab bracelet. The only thing I did different was I added another strand of elastic just to make the bracelet a little bit more durable. But hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching this video and supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video.